Speed Labs, the comedy podcast for people with short attention spans who don't know how to, um... My name is Maroney. Rose Maroney. I'm a detective. I started my agency five years ago. I've had two or three clients since then, but basically nobody cares that I'm here. Maybe if my office weren't on the 27th floor and the elevator weren't out of order, I'd get more clients. It's a tough racket, I can tell you that. I remember one time when I was going... Hey, Rose, what are you doing? Shh, go away. I'm talking to the audience. We have an audience? Well, you've got me there. But just in case, I'm trying to tell them what I've been doing. As I was saying, I was sitting in my office one day when... Hey, Rose, cut it out, will ya? Professor Pumpernickel called. He said he needs your help. I was sitting in my office one day when my assistant, Ed, came into the room. He said Professor Pumpernickel called and needed my help. It's very important. He said it was very important. He said I'll give you a lot of money if you can help him solve his problem. He said he'd give me a lot of money if I help... Money? Where? Don't ask me. I ain't seen any. Wait a minute. I thought Professor Pumpernickel was working for me. Well, he didn't like the food in your office, so he quit. Damn. Well, what does he want to see me about? I don't know. He was so upset about it, he started talking in German. And I don't talk German. Well, where is he? Maybe we can get him to say it in English. I don't know. After he called, he went out somewhere and... Maybe that's him now. Come in. Did you order some coffee and donuts, lady? Oh, that's our lunch. Yes. Uh, put them over here, please. All right. That'll be $287. What? The guy on the phone said it will be $25. Yeah, I know, but we always get big tips. All right. I've got a big tip for you. Get out of my office. Uh-uh. I'm not leaving until I get paid. Look, I've got more important things to do than argue with you. You're going to have to wait. That's all right. I'll just stand here until I get my money. It's my last delivery of the day anyway. Oh, man. Why do all these crazy people keep coming into my office all the time? Did you call me? No, I was just... Professor Pumpernickel? What are you doing inside that donut? Come out of there. Here I am. Let's see them do that on television. Hey, Ed said you had something important you wanted to talk to me about. What? I said, Ed said you had something important you wanted to talk to me about. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. My ears are filled with jelly. Uh, I knew I should have ordered plain donuts. Ed, get the plunger, will you? Never mind. I got one right here. I was carried for these situations. That's much better. Danke. What? I said danke. That's what coffee's for. What? To danke donut. <laughs> du punmarking Schweinhund. Du hast Kürze für ein Gehirn. Gee, it's awfully nice of you to say that. By the way, that'll be an extra $150 for the plunger. Never mind him. He's crazy. I suppose you think pumpernickel is normal. Well, that's neither here nor there. Where is it? It's over there by the... Stop it. Professor, what was it you wanted to tell me? I... I can't tell you now. Why not? This is only a three-minute show. Our time is up. Oh, right. Will Professor Pumpernickel ever be able to remember what he wanted to tell Rose? Will Rose be able to afford $437 to pay for a coffee and donuts? Will the elevator in Rose's office ever be repaired so that her clients don't have to climb up 27 flights of stairs to see her? Will Rose ever realize that there's a disgusting hairy insect about 18 inches long crawling up her leg? Ah! Just kidding. Yeah, very funny, wise guy. Will Nathaniel Flute ever finish composing his 30-second concerto? Will this show ever make any sense? Tune into the next episode of Speed Laps and find out. That was the first episode in the second series of Speed Laughs, a short podcast for short people with short attention spans, written by Andrew Gilmore and featuring Andrew Gilmore, Joe McCann, and Martha Michael. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, who cares?